and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at drawing branched chain alkanes. There are five rules that we need to follow when drawing these. The first thing we need to do is to break the name up into the different parts. Think of the name as an address which tells you where the different parts of the molecule exist. Start by drawing from the end of the name. This is the original longest chain. So think of it just like a normal alkene and draw out the skeleton of the carbons. Then number this chain from left to right as this is the most obvious way to do the numbering. You then need to add the branches at the appropriate points and then add hydrogens to every carbon so that every carbon has four bonds. Let's look at some examples to show what this looks like. Our first example we have three methyl pentane. We're going to break this up into different parts. So we have a number at the start, we then have methyl and pentane. We're going to start from the end of the name. This is the longest chain. We have pentane here, so if this was on its own, it would just be five carbons. We've drawn out the five carbons. We're then going to number the chain from left to right. This allows us to then look at this number here at the start. So we know on the third carbon that we have a methyl group. We can put this in as a single carbon. We're now going to go around the whole structure and add in bonds so that every carbon has four bonds. To each of these bonds, we will add a hydrogen. Let's try another example. This time we have two numbers, we then have dimethyl for branches, and again we have pentane. We're going to draw five carbons in a row, and then number them from left to right. We can see that on carbon three we have two branches, because we have three, three. Both of these are methyl branches of one carbon. We're then going to go around the full structure and add in bonds so that every carbon has four bonds. To each of these bonds we will add hydrogen. Let's look at one final example. Here we have three numbers. We have trimethyl for branches and hexane. Hexane has six carbons and we're going to number from left to right. We can see from the name that we have three methyl groups and they are on numbers two, three and three. Like before, we're going to add bonds to the whole structure so that every carbon has four bonds. To each of these bonds, we will add hydrogens. Pause the video now and try to draw these three examples. In this first example, we have two for the number, methyl for the branch and pentane for the chain. Pentane has five carbons, we then number from left to right, and on number two we have a methyl group. We then move around the whole structure to fill in all of the hydrogen bonds. In the second example we have three numbers, trimethyl, and then hexane. Hexane has six carbons and we number from left to right. This time we have methyl groups on number two, number two and number four. We then move around the structure to fill in the hydrogens. And for our final example, we have a slightly longer example here. We have two different numbers and we also have two different types of branches. These are both attached to an octane chain. Octane has eight carbons. We're then going to number from left to right. On the third carbon, we have an ethyl branch. Ethyl contains two carbons. And on the fourth carbon, we have a methyl branch. This has one carbon. We're then going to move around the structure and fill in the bonds for all of the hydrogens.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now. Thank you.